Welcome back to Daz Garage. This is officially the last video in this series of a basement build in Salt Lake City, Utah. It is episode 12B, which is technically the 19th video in a period of seven days to complete a completely fresh, empty basement from this point forward. We framed, sheetrocked, added electricity, obviously lighting, outlets. We added audio for surround sound. This is the main living area, and that is where the TV will reside, possibly up to a 70 inch TV. It is fitted with optical cable, HDMI cable, surround sound, speaker wire, electricity, coaxial cable, all inside the wall. It, we added a, uh, we had an HVAC man come in and add three drops, which the one is right here. Oh, oh, and let's not forget the LED lighting, which replaced hi-hats as these little dishes. They're amazing. Let's turn one on. Get a quick look at that. I don't want to spend too much time. Oh, that's the hallway. Oh, this is storage, which was already finished prior to us arriving. And it's, it's going to be storage or something else. Uh, we'll figure that out later. But let's find the light switch for the LEDs. That's the hallway. And then that's, look at that. From here, look at that. That's fabulous. So the HVAC came in. He dropped a... Uh, air vent there and that's a return and the way that works is it pulls the air in up the wall cavity and then into the ductwork which is obviously in the ceiling in the bathroom we have the smoke detector hardwired into the basement and if we travel back well let's turn around and look at from this perspective that is a cubby hole where maddie would like to have some shelves and some knickknacks, and to the left of that, she's going to display some of her college uh, pride, let's call it. So this will also be painted in Pennsylvania college pride colors, which apparently are burnt orange. We shall see what happens there in the future. Uh, if we walk back towards the bedroom, which has a door on it now, it is Build as a bedroom, but is will be used as an office. And it clearly has Cat5 connections and outlets around the whole room required by code. It has an eight foot by two closet. With when we installed, we made sure we added two by fours behind the wall so you can hang heavy duty coat racks and not worry about them falling. This room also has a smoke detector and four LED hi-hats. If we move out of the bedroom into this little hallway here, that's where all the data falls, funnels through. It has the switches inside and its own power supply. This is a utility room, which will have a bifold door. Let me back up so you can see it. It's framed, but it's we're waiting for the bifold. If you go inside, we put some sheetrock in there, 5 8 and insulation for sound deadening. And there's the electrical panel. Got a standard half inch insulation on this corner. We move towards the bathroom and we added a door. I believe it's a 30 inch door and if you go into the bathroom when you turn on the light the fan automatically comes on to ensure it is vented properly here's the other vent dropped by the HVAC guy two beautiful LED hi-hats the back portion of the bathroom will be the shower I believe it's 63 inches wide by 36 inches deep. There'll be a shower pan put there. Doug will start that this week and finish the plumbing and Dura Rock 
and then it could do tiling and flooring and buy the cabinetry bowl and whatnot and move forward uh, what did I want to point out in here that was different oh the plumbing is PEX plumbing which is kind of like a plastic PVC type uh, a little challenging to use because although it's plastic it doesn't bend very well but it actually worked out really well here's a diverter for the shower obviously hot and cold and the shower head will come out here once Doug attaches that to the wall he'll finish the door rack and he can move forward with his project that's it folks this project took seven days oh that's what I wanted to mention the sounds to help you sleep listen listen it sounds like a waterfall or rain and this is what's going to help Nick sleep while he's supposed to be working because these beautiful sounds what do they call it white noise it's just going to put the poor kid out so maybe we get that door on here real quick so that beautiful white noise which is technically the drain yeah that's all it is it's the drain from upstairs that doesn't put the poor kid to sleep all right I appreciate everybody watching the videos and I appreciate the time I got to spend with my family in Utah we had a great time we did a great job very happy to be here and help Nick and Maddie with their new house and start their life together it's gonna be great for them I can't wait to see this thing done I hope he posts a video maybe he gets a channel and he posted and I could share it with all of you all my I think I have maybe 15 followers now that's great maybe I'll have 16 by tomorrow thanks again folks you have a great rest of the weekend I fly out tomorrow I'll be back in South Florida tomorrow I can't wait and I'll be back to work Monday Wow exciting hey everybody be safe okay